So, Malaysian Air Flight 370, initiated by Inmarsat, has now become the target of inter international misdirection of the search to set up a false flag event. And who could do that better than the British and the U.S. working together? Right. Exactly. Now, let's, let's switch then and begin to talk about uh, the evidence that you've put together that mid-air disintegration is the most likely cause of disappearance of Flight 370. Um, from all of the interviews that have been reported in the media and uh, also uh, on YouTube and so forth with military personnel uh, in England and the U.S. and other countries, almost all of them have unanimously said that it was uh, most likely a mid-air disintegration of the plane. So with that in thought, I'm not going to go over all of the uh, the theories and the uh, unlikely uh, causes. I want to focus on mid-air disintegration since the military is assessing it as the most likely cause of the disappearance of that plane. So I'm going to consider three uh, aspects of that mid-air disintegration. One is the Wigner effect. Another one is hijacking. And the third one is shooting that plane down with a pulsed energy weapon or a missile. The Wigner effect is something that is affecting uh, planes and metallic objects uh, very drastically since the Fukushima disaster on March 11th, 2011. It's three years now. And what has happened is that so much radiation was released from Fukushima. It's thousands and thousands and maybe even millions of Chernobyls. And the neutron bombardment of metals, it's also alpha, beta, gamma, and x-rays that also are other aspects of radiation in the nucleus. Um, the neutron and other particle and ray bombardment by these radioactive particles that are all over the global planet in, in uh, abundance uh, attack the crystal structure of metals and weaken that crystal structure and make the, the metal brittle. So what has been happening, it just started to be reported about two or three months ago that we noticed at least, is that commercial aircraft, civilian uh, aircraft, and military aircraft around the world are having parts fly off of the planes in mid-air or windshields even are flying off of uh, military jets. And we know that, in, for instance, at the Kadena military base in Okinawa, and you and I have been there watching uh, CIA executive jets take off on right. <laughs> probably conditioned flights. Um, these jets, these uh, fighter jets, uh, 10 of them were reported just at Kadena to have lost parts off of the planes. These fighter jets were flying through the air and parts started flying off of them. Four of those jets, uh, additional jets, uh, lost their windshield in mid-air and the pilots had to land these fighter jets without windshields. This has also been reported planes are having to uh, land in Hawaii on their trans-Pacific flights because of trouble with the hydraulics uh, in the landing gear or uh, the flaps or other parts of the, the, the tail or the elevators, things like that. And this is starting to be a real concern. 
I noticed in a video clip at the Fukushima nuclear power plant, which is where the nuclear disaster occurred, I was watching a TEPCO uh, perimeter video clip um, of uh, workers at the plant removing spent fuel rods from building four and putting them, lifting them with a crane, using a big huge crane to lift them out of the building in the damaged pools to put them in dry cast dry casts for storage. So six of them were standing there all suited up in protective gear, looking at the, the fuel rods and the cast, and they never noticed a huge crane in the background. It was one of five in between the buildings. It suddenly just slowly, in slow motion, collapsed onto the ground. And that was the metal fatigue. But since um, there have been no reports so far of planes crashing and uh, uh, the uh, people on the planes being killed, um, I don't think that the Vigner effect yet has caused any airplane crashes. So I think this is not the likely cause of the disappearance of Flight 370. But it does need to be considered in all airplane crashes from now on. You are merely a few minutes older, but infinitely more knowledgeable than before. Uh, we need to get subscribed and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the Remix button, hit the Remix button. That way you'll have this video.